Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Duck Adventure for May the 12th. I'm in a lot of pain, guys, but I'm going to the doctor. I, I called yesterday and left a message, and they called me this morning at 9. And I've got an appointment for noon today to get my back put back in. Oh, I need it bad, guys. This, is, uh, this reminds me of February, um, the pain I'm in. It's actually worse because I've got this lower back pain that's killing me. Plus my whole right leg is pins and needles. Like it's the most, right from my toes, right up to my buttock. It's unbelievable. Uh, I, it's, it's, I'm in a lot of discomfort. Um, all right, so the ducks want out. Look at them just getting out. They're right at the gate here. Barbarians at the gate. All right. It's been raining here uh, pretty non-stop guys. It's, it's actually nice to get some moisture, but uh, it was just unbelievably cold yesterday and Sunday. And actually my back, <laughs> you know, I hurt my back on, sun, on Saturday, you know, and I, I never even thought of it. And Sunday, I was laying on the couch, Sunday morning, I was like early and I was laying there and I, I, was, I was, I don't know, I sort of dozed off, I guess. Doug walked over and not, he walked, didn't jump, but he walked on top of me and laid down on my chest. And I think that's what's made my, uh, my back super sore is because, you know, I had a hundred, I woke up with this 131 pound dog laying on my midsection of my body. And uh, he was so cuddly and so cute. I said, I said, Doug, oh, you gotta get off. And then when he got off, I really felt the pain after that. And then as the day progressed, it got worse. And that's why I couldn't do any candling on Sunday. And I had to get up at, you know, at 3 a.m. Because I went to bed early. I, I popped a, a, a muzzle relaxant and tried to get some sleep. Uh, the pain and then I uh, I got up at 3 a.m. did the candling which the candling was awesome oh man that's so cool uh, you know got rid of those uh, you know 10% of the eggs unfertilized and the rest of them were all alive it was so cool doing it uh, I wish the video would have turned out better but uh, it, it just wasn't working out for me I learned a lesson though not to zoom in so much I'm gonna try some different things in the next candling uh, with the next candling, we're going to really have uh, a good action inside the eggs because I can see the little guys floating around doing their thing, you know, and moving around in the eggs. But it wasn't enough that the camera could pick it up. But I think the next weekend, the, you know, the candling is going to be, uh, we're going to be able to see a lot more with the camera. And I'll, I'm going to figure out some way of getting it so that we can uh, get a better video of it. Because it is pretty epic looking uh, when you see the little guys floating around inside. Well, especially when you have so many like I couldn't believe it like every single like well not every single egg but you know so there's only 61 eggs out of 590 plus eggs that uh, you know were uh, you know no good the rest were alive like I was that's unbelievable if we can keep that ratio guys uh, you know I could almost uh, actually at this ratio if we could pull it off two hatches and we'd have a thousand ducks that that's uh, that would just be so much less work for Matt so I'm gonna grab the uh, the pail, put the pivot heads on, and we'll do egg recon. No, oh, Dougie, Mr. Backputter outer. Yes. Oh, and I woke up on the couch, and I was like, I wasn't even really sleeping. I was sort of daydreaming, and all of a sudden, this dog, like he slithers up on top of me, and uh, you know, it was just like he never jumped. It was just a slither. And next thing I know, he was on top of me, and he was laying down, spread right out on top of my body, and. It was like, I felt right then, oh no, my back was already on the, you know, because I, I had turned the wrong way at the dump and I felt it, you know, a little bit sore, but that was it when Doug did that to me. But oh, I couldn't believe when I called and left a message yesterday on the answer machine of my doctor and they phoned me this morning, 9 a.m., Matt, noon, can you be here? And I was like, oh, yes. So I get uh, put back in, all right. There's only two eggs out here, so there's got to be a ton in the barn, guys. 
still haven't got my problem totally settled out on uh, you know the feed situation for the ducks this year I'm uh, I'm talking to another feed manufacturer I've been writing emails and letters and we'll see uh, what they come through with not very not many companies are interested in you know supporting a, a, a crazy show like this they don't see the value in it and you know which is sort of ironic because you know the whole show is about raising your own animals and backyard flocks and anyways we won't get into that corporations are uh, they're a strange beast that's why I never uh, I only worked for a corporation once in my life and I did that under contract and I was so glad when the contract ended and they they begged me to stay and I was like I'm out of here I'd rather be an independent guy doing an egg recon all right yeah we got lots of eggs on I'm, I'm and another thing too guys is the fact that you know those really old eggs I had such a high rate of success um, that blew me away too I couldn't believe that that was um, you know, because I was expecting, you know, the, the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th eggs to be, uh, you know, write-offs. I put them in there even knowing that I was going to do, you know, the candling and that we were going to have another wave of eggs. But the fact that, you know, that they're still going and, and they were developed and, and the little guys were kicking their little feet around inside. And, you know, I was like, for an old egg, like, the, you know, I've like 17-day-old egg and, uh, you know, only had two out of i think it was 33 or 32 eggs that uh, were no good at that age oh look at the nest on this thing come on girl come on out okay she's hissing too come on come on out oh attack duck 2.0 come on come on girl come on oh you're so soft yes. holy mackerel she's mad Come on, out. Out. You're making Doug upset. Doug, no, no. Doug, no, Doug. Out. Get out, Doug. Out. He doesn't like that when the ducks get upset. You stay there, okay? Sit. Doug, sit. Doug, sit. All right, good dog. <laughs> All right. All right, Doug, come on out. Oh, she's really aggressive. Come on, girl. All right, we gotta. I gotta pick her up. Come on. Okay, she's fighting me to stay on the nest. That's crazy. What are you doing, duck? There. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's upset. I. I. I have yet. No, you guys have been on the watching the show for with me. You know, doing it for like what? This is our third year, and I've never seen a duck that aggressive. She was like mad. Unfortunately, you know, we can't let them do their own eggs because of uh, the fact that I'm going to need the barn here set up and running for ducklings. May 28th is the hatch date, so we can't let the, you know we can't just can't have a duck sitting on a nest. Unfortunately. Even though the Muscovies are seriously dropping the ball over there. There's, this morning I looked out. Well, we're going to go over there and take a look at the Muscovy situation. There's four of them there that are just not doing anything. All right. Oh, I'm a little bit stiff, guys. Oh, the knee crack there. <laughs> All right. Is this a talk duck? Come on. No, she gave up real quick. Yeah, the fact that, you know, we got 520 eggs that as of 3 a.m., you know, Monday morning, they were uh, all alive. Look at her. You're a real attacker. She's still mad at me. She's going back to the corner. Oh, yeah, yesterday, guys, I picked up eggs, and it was raining, and I couldn't believe the eggs uh, in the barn here where it's dry that because it was so moist and the humidity was so high the eggs had that uh, had a, a really uh, i don't know it was sort of like a chalky feel to them 
uh, damp, chalky feel. They weren't a, a normal, smooth, uh, you know, uh, you know, very polished feeling like a dock egg usually is. They were really a weird texture yesterday. Look at her. She wants to go back. Sorry, girl. We can't let you hatch your own eggs. Because, like I said, May 28th, this is going to be the nursery. And if things are happening right, you know, last year, I'm trying to think, our biggest hatch, I think, was 100 and... Oh, God. 140, 150. I forget what it was, the biggest hatch. You know, because we did six hatches yesterday, last year. There were six or five, I forget. That's a blur. Um, so this year, you know, I ended up getting a hatch of, you know, 450 at once. Whew, that's going to be a whack in the barn at once. All right, let's go and see the Muscovy. I'll switch cameras and uh, we'll go in and see what the Muscovies are doing because they're, you know, there was uh, six sitting on nests, but, uh, oh yeah, no, there's still only five because I see four outside right now. Let me switch cameras. Oh, this morning, guys, Doug, he's uh, he's looking out the door and he's watching the door and all of a sudden he's just losing it. And he starts barking. Crows are flying over top of the property and he was trying to get outside to go after them. Oh, boys, everything's really swollen up here from the rain. All right, look at this. You girls, I'm telling you, you know, the other day there was, you know, there there was six sitting on the nest. And today, you know, we're about, it looks like we're back to five. All right, so let's go in here. We're not going to get uh, too close to them. All right, ducks. I'm uh, hoping my buddy, yesterday I talked to my buddy about a new fan motor. He said he's going to check his shop. So what do we got happening in here? Okay. okay, so I'm gonna try to do this guys uh, with the camera and not get too close. Alright. Okay, so there's that one girl. She's still doing a good mother routine. This one here is uh, I'm trying to remember she's the I think it was later. And then there's this third one here now. You know, let me just go around the feeder. Oh, bumped into the feeder. And then there's the, the fourth one. And the fifth one, or number six, I should say, was in here. But now she's out. Uh, she hasn't gone back in. And they're eating next to no feed. Now, I'm going to um, I'm gonna go get the other nesting box here. I can get a good view. I don't want to get too close because they seem to be... They don't like any activity in here, which I don't blame them. Look at that for a nest. Now there is a, a bunch of down in there, so who knows, maybe she's going to start sitting here. We're going to have a real staggered hatch on the Muscovy situation. And this one here, now there's only a couple, so I see three eggs. Now over here, this is a, I think abandoned nest here. This one here. No, oh, it looks like I, oh, I can't see the viewfinder. Alright, and then we've got this girl on the end. She hasn't moved in days. Yeah, so I'll just get out of the way here. I'm going to get uh, down. She's, uh, this is, uh, she's going to be the first one with a hatch. Which, you know, guys, uh, you know, tell me below here. You, you know, go back in the videos and tell me when this girl started sitting. Uh, on the nest because then we'll know because I'm um, I don't remember what day she uh, started sitting and it's 35 days from ever uh, whatever the day is she started that's when we'll have our first Muscovies but we've definitely got five girls they got to do better than I did last year because last year you know I well, I got nine ducks out of the deal out of the Muscovy situation so we'll see how much better they are at it than I am so all right I got to get ready to go to the doctor. Um, I'm gonna just do the, my quick chores here, and then I'm gonna go and uh, get my back put back in. My shoulders are stiff, my neck is sore, and uh, he's gonna go and I'm gonna go and get some relief. Oh, <laughs> here I'll give you a shot. I uh, cut some trees here. Well, that was another thing too. Saturday when I got back from the dump, I did a bunch of tree cutting to open things up, so uh, the ducks are a little more wide open there in the uh, the, the creek, which that didn't help either when I got back from the dump. And I cut a bunch of trees down here in the swamp. Uh, as, well, they weren't really trees, they were just uh, some brush. But now uh, we can get a shot right down there 
without uh, the, uh, you know, there was some trees there or brush that was in the way. But the ducks have been going down to the lake. They haven't gone down the last two days because it's so wet around here. But they're doing a terrible job of cutting the lawn. But I remember last year having to cut the lawn once because they weren't doing a very good job at the beginning of the season. They're really focusing over there because the creek is uh, running and they're drilling all the mud up over there. All right, I'm gonna go to the, uh, the doctor and get my back fixed so that I can function. All right, I got back from the doctor, guys, and uh, I got an adjustment, and I can really feel it. Actually, when he was adjusting my, uh, he was doing his magic thing on my neck, and uh, my la my right leg was just in so much pain. He was, uh, and he was like sort of had a grin on his face. He was just sort of like, yeah, yeah, that's what's supposed to be happening. And um, but I'm I'm really sore. But I uh, while I was in town, I stopped and I got another motor. So the burnt out motor here, and I've got the new one. Well, it's not new; uh, it's uh, used. But uh, you believe it? They, I went to the motor shop in town because my buddy wasn't at his, at his furnace shop. They wanted 150 bucks for a motor. So, but his son showed up and then took me over to the warehouse and I got this for uh, 40 bucks. So it was a score uh, compared to 150. So I'm gonna go and uh, put it onto the uh, exhaust fan now onto the uh, the duck shack so that uh, when the sun comes out we don't cook the Muscovies. The ducks are all over the yard. There's some over there uh, because now there's water everywhere. There's some over there. There's a whole bunch down in the swamp. A bunch of, like it's because there's water everywhere they're all over the place but they're doing a terrible job of cutting my lawn for me i'm going to actually have to fire up the lawnmower which just sucks all right and the weather it's you know one minute it was warm today um and now the sun's gone in and it's cold again and now uh there's only five muscovy sitting on the nest look at this there's four well there's one around the other side of the tree but there's four out here now, so I don't know what's going on here. But we got five, so I got to be really uh, quiet and calm doing this because I don't want to spook the girls. But uh, they're in there; they're all doing their thing. So now I've got to do a swap here of this uh, motor, and I can't believe how little feed they're going through. Like next to no feed. I'll, I'll look at this. I haven't put feed in here in like three days. They're fading away on me. All right, I'm gonna get this how I wish. I, I go Thursday to get my prescription lenses and my pivot head so I can see. So I might actually end up having to, uh, I think I gotta put my glasses on. I can't see squat here. So unfortunately guys, I can't uh, you know, film the uh, swap for you because I can't see. Okay guys, we're back in business here. I've already done one test here. I just had to loosen the belt. That's my tensioner wire here because it's, I'm hanging the fan upside down so uh, you can't use this to get the proper tension. Uh, anyways, it's, it's, I've jimmy rigged it. Alright, so let's just get her fire up again. Yep, she works. Alright. Well, fixed. Now we got cooling again. Let's wait for the next heat wave. The little Muscovies didn't like that though. This one here moved from this nest to this nest. Now I'm going to leave and hopefully she comes back because that's her nest. But she came when I was fixing it and I turned it on and it started making a lot of noise because I had the belt too tight. She came out and went into that nest. But I got to leave here so she'll go back into her the proper nest. You know, I, I can't believe how that little Muscovy switched nests. I'm leaving, girl. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. All right, we got cooling again. Oh, what are you doing? More importantly, what are you lazy girls doing? I don't believe these ducks. I got to do duck chores now. We got the fan running for the next heat wave, which... Hopefully we'll be soon. It's not very nice right now, guys. <laughs> it's actually uh, quite cool out. It's a perfect day to actually be doing some work. I, I actually should be down there uh, digging the trench, but my back, I wanna, I'm gonna take it easy today. I'm actually, I can't even sit down because it, uh, I felt when I was sitting down, oh, there comes my dog. Um, when I was sitting down, I felt my back uh, not liking it. So it was so funny when Doug and I were in the uh, garage and I uh, was working away 
he uh, the geese lost it and he just came running out um, and he went right towards the swamp where the geese were he's really uh, getting in tune with this noise they make they sound the alarm and he comes running it would be so neat if this uh, year you know the geese sounded the alarm for a coyote and Doug came in and we got it all on film that would be just epic Quite possible. Uh, if we're going to have a predator visitor, uh, the geese are the ones that are going to let us know. And hopefully this guy here does his job. Are you done? All right, I'm going to get chores done. Just look at them in the. <laughs> oh, I love watching them play. Just look at this little thing. See, now that there's water everywhere, they won't go to the lake for days. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> oh, you're all wound up. Dougie's been running crazy here. The geese have been doing lots of false alarms, so he's been running into the swamp and the bush. Oh, Doug, I know. You love to play, don't you? Okay, don't trip me. You don't like crows, do you, Doug? Or bugs. <laughs> Oh, I can feel, I just fed everybody here and I can feel it. Oh, my back, this is not the time to be hurting, right, Daniel? Oh, we got a little bit of duck sex going on here. I just said uh, I did the Muscovy water. Oh, Moe's having a little bit of fun. I wonder if that girl went back on her nest. Well, that's survivor duck washing herself. I don't understand why this girl is not interested in sitting on a nest. You know, because last year she was just like so broody. Oh, Mo just did his deal. Yeah, it happened. You can see his penis is hanging out. Like a chunk of wet fettuccine. Here, let's go inside and see if that girl went back to her uh, original nest. I won't go inside, I'll just go in the doorway. What do we got happening here? No, she hasn't. She left her nest and now she's sitting on the other nest. All right, well, we won't go in there, that'll... I, th I don't know about these ducks, <laughs> this experiment. We'll see what happens. Well, if we get 10 ducks, it's a success, because I only got nine myself. You know, I don't understand you, girl. Why aren't you flying around the yard? I know you can fly, I've seen you fly. Actually, you know what, guys? I don't understand the females. You know, they can all fly. And and this morning, oh, I forgot to tell you that. This morning, a uh, disco duck was in here again. And I watched her when I was in having breakfast. She was on that railing for like a half an hour, uh, just sitting there. You know, she's going to freshen up. She's not getting in the water, though. Well, I gotta go get my supper in the oven. I screwed up and I didn't put it in yet. So it's gonna be a late supper for Matt. And it would happen to be a big duck I'm cooking tonight, so it's gonna be three hours. So it's gonna be like eight o'clock before I get my supper. Oh, Canada Goose is down at the lake. Uh, you can't see it probably in the camera, but uh, she's down, uh, or he's down at the creek, headed this way. I just put some more scratch out for them. I gotta get my weed whacker powered up too because I got all that grass on the right hand side I got to chop it down before I have to put the blade on the weed whacker I'd like to be able to cut it down with a with that nylon uh, uh, reel instead of the, uh, the blade it's a lot faster with the nylon reel if you don't get it too long and I got to do that really soon 
that'd be a good workout for my back. Oh, when I was in town getting the motor, I stopped at my buddy's glass shop and uh, oh, 30 inches. I couldn't believe the price of glass, guys. Oh yeah, five and a half. This, uh, believe it or not, because I, I thought about this this year because the filming last year, I didn't like having to get the angles all the time, trying to get shots of ducklings. So I thought to myself, I'll take all this out, the frame out, and then I'll just get a sheet of glass and I'll silicone it right into the frame. You're not going to believe it. $120 for a piece of glass the size of that six mil uh, that I can put in there so that the door, yeah, it has to be six mil because there's going to be no more frame uh, on the inside of the door so the glass is strong enough. But 120 bucks, and I was like, I couldn't believe it. And even my buddy, he's just, uh, the, he, he, I, I said to him, this sounds like retail. And he goes, well, it is a retail glass shop. And I go, oh, so that's what you get for buddies. Uh, but I just, I just 120 bucks. I just, well, that's a bad idea. It ain't going to happen. Well, it's a good idea, but it just ain't going to happen. Because I, uh, I would really, uh, it'd be so awesome if this was just solid glass with no frame. The frame was all gone and this etching. Then uh, the, the camera would be, uh, it'd be so much better for filming. But hey, I got the door for free and we got to make work with what we got here. I just uh, came out here to give Doug a shower and I got to show you this. Well, first of all, there's a goose in the yard right now. There's the there's a can of goose, all right? She's right in the yard. They're getting closer and closer, and they, they don't even care. Doug was running around the yard here, and it didn't even matter. But what I got to show you guys, look at this. There's three more. So, like, I'm wondering how many freaking pairs of geese are staying here this year. Now I know when it gets dark, you can really hear them down there just going crazy. So there's three down there, one here, I, you know, I don't know. And what's sitting on nests? Like, it's going to be interesting when we get out there with the boat. And they keep coming into the yard. The other day I saw two of them right in the yard here, so I don't know what's going on. I know one thing, we get down there with the boat, it's going to be a thing. You know, there's four or five pairs down there on the lake this year. Uh, that's going to be a crap load of goslings. Uh, and, you know, hopefully they'll get mixed in with our flock and just add some more excitement to the show. I just can't believe it. And they're so loud. Later on, they get really loud. Just at dusk, actually. Dusk, you can hear them going crazy down at the other end of the lake. 